strawberry. But you know, there's so much more to this charming city than just the Strawberry Festival. And our mission this morning to highlight all the other events and people that make Plant City unique, including Plant City Citizen of the Year. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott spoke with him about his love for this community and why he's never left. We have a very hometown feel. Jack Holland was born and raised in Plant City. My entire life I've been here in Plant City. With family roots that have been here for several generations, Plant City is more than just where Jack lives, it's home. Never left Plant City because this is such a great place to live. A place he's dedicated his life to. We're a very a giving com community. Uh, and Jack makes sure of that, volunteering his time for decades as part of several community organizations. There's always something to do here in town, and uh, I kind of focus more on the kids' side of things. So when he was named Plant City Citizen of the Year, it was a surprise to no one except Jack. What I do just it comes natural, and I don't think it's over and above what uh, anybody else in the room has done. Humbled by the honor, he's a representative of the community. He's even worked for the city for 45 years in the Parks and Recreation Department and now as the city's assistant manager. We try to do things in our town uh, that want, make people want to stay here. From managing the Parks and Rec Department to managing the city, Jack Holland's footprint can be felt in every aspect of this community. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Everyone knows Jack. Good morning, Don. Whether he's sitting behind his desk at City Hall or spending time volunteering in the community, Jack is Plant City's number one advocate. It's just a very supportive community, a, a very positive community, and I think a lot of people love that, and I certainly do. That's why I'm here. He planted roots in Plant City and never looked back. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.